All right, hello, this is a tutorial for uh, a video that I did um, earlier. I mean, just a test video for one, a big YouTube video, which might be up, you know, soon. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I'll show that to you now. So, this is what it looks like. Okay, After Effects, alright, so I already have them in order, and I have them in order and everything, so, alright, so, see, it's in order, this is, this is a little bit different, I think I added this clip in, I believe, yeah, I have added that one, or whatever, so, first, thing is that you drop into composition you have it and this is basically what I did for color correction right and it's already pre see, uh, opacity see and then it dips down that's how I got that pretty simple okay so so what you have to do first all right Click into the box, go to layer, new, uh, adjustment layer, okay, and then for I have Mojo, all right, Magic Bullet, Mojo, it's like kind of expensive though, so I don't know if you want it, otherwise you can just go to, you know, effect, wait, click on effect, so I, have, I have Mojo, it's like effects, um, go to, you can go to color correction, and then you can go to curves. Just ah, uh, crap. Where is that? Right there. But I have Mojo, so I don't use that for this. I went to Mojo, and I dragged it into adjustment layer too. Okay. So now it's gonna look like that. Let's see. Let's see a really, really big difference. But you can up here, see you can uh, up here you can see how it's you can uh, change things about it. So if you want more mojo that looks terrible or really really low mojo, you want to usually have it around here, not too much. And then balance is if you have it here, it's not going to be mojo. If you have it all over here, it's going to be complete mojo have it about it's like around 70 and then punch it and see it like makes it more vibrant or whatever so just keep it you can play around with that and bleach yeah does exactly what it says keep that down and then warm it see you can warm it a bit that's what I did it makes it a little bit you know gives that cool feel and since you did it with the adjustment layer, it did it. No. Alright, it's it goes for every single one. See, every single one has it now. And then you can undo it. See. And that's not all I did. Okay, so. I'll say one to Magic Bullet Lux. Alright, all right. put that into adjustment layer, or a new one if you want. Alright, you hit edit, and it comes up. Alright, so it comes up, and this is really, really cool. Okay, there's a bunch of presets. So you can go here, now you have basic, warm, contrast, you know, sharpen. There's a bunch, like cinematic has a lot. Let's see, blockbuster pretty cool stuff the one that I used oh wait the one that I used for this I went to uh, it was, it was a bunch stylized it's a bunch of presets it's really really helpful 
instead of doing it all yourself. Mm. So I went to basic and I just did sharpen. That's all. And then I hit finished. So now, oh, actually, hold on. I want to do that on a different adjustment layer so I can show you guys. So layer new adjustment layer. It looks. Oh, blend adjustment layer. Hit edit again. All right. I want to go to sharpen. Okay. Finish. And this is you can look. Um, see, it makes a big difference. Some people might not like it. It's a little make it a little bright, but. If you go to this one, makes a big difference. See, it's that cool look to it. See the grass all can makes it you know better. And then without Mojo and just that, I mean that's pretty good too. Anyways, but see, I like having Mojo in there. And another thing that I did, let me do that. I'll go to layer new, just my layer. Again, and I also have where is it? Misfire, not your bowl misfire. All right, it's a bunch of cool things. I use a vignette. I drag it, put it into layer four. It just brings this like cool black feel to it around. And um, so right here you can do size. See, if you go like that, it's oh. Just go. I don't know why it's like that. Just pull it up where you want it. Alright, anyways. So you can go like size and bring it in, or I usually keep it up fairly high in intensity. See, 100, you can really see the black edges. I usually keep it not too. Alright. Alright. The higher size you go, the out farther out it goes. So, if you want more, you can bring it in. So, like, see. Um. The intensity, oh, the intensity was zero. So let's see, 74. Brings it even more. If you go out, see, it brings it out. So you know, it just gives it an extra little thing to it, see? If you like it, then you know you can keep it. If you don't, it makes it a little darker, but I like it. And uh, I'll have the intensity dropped a bit. I think it's good. All right, so then that gives it for like everything. Let's see, nice little vignette. All right, I think that's all it is. So basically, magic bullet is what you want for color correction. It's amazing. And it's really good. And and if you don't have it, of course you can just go into layer. Wait, effect. On that. Uh, effect. Go to color correction. Go to curve down here. And this you can switch to make it darker, brighter, and like terrible. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, so curves does that. And you know, reds, your green, and blue, and alpha, which is like, yeah. So that's basically it. That's how I did it. And I used uh, GH2, a hacked version of GH2. 
which I can make a tutorial for that, or you can just look it up. I'll just I can make one, I guess, if you want one. Yeah. Yeah. So it really does bring out the detail when you use like Sharp and uh, Mojo. So that's without Mojo. It's without the sharpness, and that's without the vignette. So it really does look a lot different. Yeah. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll probably have a tutorial on how to get do GH2 hacked, and and maybe other things like oh right, what I used. I used a 50 milli millimeter um, Canon lens. I used an adapter for it, and um, I think I used Smooth. A minus two saturation, like minus two and everything, and it came out really well. So, thanks for watching, and subscribe and like this video. Alright, or don't, but you should. Alright, uh, alright, thanks.